Hello everyone, gazing off into the land of Minecraft, you I see. Well, this is a mod review on this absolutely awesome, I can't state how amazing this mod is. It's called Twilight Forest, and it, it adds a whole new kind of dimension to the game. It's, uh, it's similar to the Aether in the sense that it adds, I don't know, I guess you could say, well, I guess you could say a whole new dimension. It's kind of like adding the Nether, but it's a... Uh, it's amazing. If you've ever watched the movie Avatar, uh, that's basically what this what this mod adds. So uh, we'll hop right into it here. Uh, first thing here, as you can see, this is the portal to get to it. It's just a two by two hole, and uh, surrounded by anything natural. And I'll quickly make one so you can actually see, you know, being made. So they said two by two hole, and you're gonna want to fill it with water. Uh, so all you really need is two, it just needs to be an infinite spring. And then you just toss anything around it, anything natural. I know the flowers work, I imagine that grass would work. And once you have that, this is the tricky part. You need to toss a diamond in. However, you should probably take your distance as it is going to do damage to you if you're near. So, toss a diamond in. Bolt of lightning comes down and creates the portal. And unfortunately, you do lose your diamond in this process. But that's the portal right there. I'll quickly hop into this one as I've already kind of spawned the world from this one. So I'll just wait for it to load. I'll be back when it does. All right, and here we are in the Twilight Dimension. Now, as you can see from a quick glance around, it is completely different. There's huge trees. You can see stars in the sky despite it being daytime. Um, this is what it likes all the time. There's really, I don't think, much of a actual transition between day and night. Nothing changes a lot. Now, as you can see, this is a land of ginormous trees and all kinds of them and new dangers. Now, for it to have these huge trees, the actual land had to be lowered down. Originally, Minecraft spawns at around 64. I think that might be the water level. However, since the trees are so big, otherwise it'd be going out the building limit, this whole land is built down to about level 16, which is the diamond level. So technically, that means there's no area below this. So if I were to dig down, nothing would really occur. And because of that, this isn't a very, you know, this isn't a mod to collect resources. Um, however, there, you can actually get resources. Now, as I said, very mysterious this land is. Uh, most of the world is covered in a massive canopy, so which is why it's so dark. And um, uh, this is pretty cool. It adds a whole bunch of new biomes, seven, seven new biomes. There's a uh, highlands. It uh, improves the swamp biomes in this actual part. There's glaciers, which are which are really cool, and there's a whole new mushroom biome, which uh, not sure if it's really different. I haven't really found it yet, as it is rare. But um, that's that's basically my general look at you know it's kind of the I'll go in more into depth with the actual specific things. But as you can see, just flying above it, this is kind of the gist of what it is. Basically, humongous trees everywhere. But um, I will touch more on that in the specific parts. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Now being a general feature in all the biomes in this mod, I wanted to kind of quickly show you guys the trees and how big they can actually get. Now, uh, as you can see, being a canopy, these are kind of the general trees, which are humongous for themselves, as you can see. But this tree is just a whole new level of huge. Uh, as you can see, it actually reaches a cloud level despite starting at like 16. And the cool thing about all the trees in this actual mod is, uh, I'll give myself an axe, fly down to the bottom here, is that they're actually, all the big trees are hollow, so you can actually climb up and they uh, come to fault with ladders. So, as you can see, if I just punch into here, there's a ladder which leads all the way to the top, and humongous climb, but I think the view would be worth it of the whole world in front of you. So, um, that's the kind of general tree, as you can see, there's a different couple, couple different styles. And another thing I'd like to note is it's not an actual mob, or mod, sorry. No, wait. Yeah, mob! <laughs> are um, these two bugs I have here. Now, these spawn on the trunks of trees, and uh, not just the big trees. They actually do spawn down at this level, too, uh, right here. But uh, there's two of these, and there's one of them is a firefly, and one of them is a cicada. Now, this here is a cicada. As you can see, you can actually uh, harvest them and pick them up. When, when you put them down, it just makes a bunch of noise. And uh, that's the cicada, and I'll quickly move away from them as they're really noisy. And this is the uh, firefly. 
as you can see, you just put them down and they create a little light. And uh, quickly hop down here and see, you can put them on the ground and everything. So they're pretty cool. And you can harvest them, and I believe you can bring them back to the uh, normal world. So those are the uh, kind of general trees for this mob. Or mod, sorry. And um, I'll get back with you guys if I see anything else. Jeez, this is a pretty cool looking tree. Oh my god. All right, hey guys, and um, I'm back with the another segment of the mod review. But um, I decided that before I go into depth with the actual biomes, I should show kind of the generalized creatures that uh, spawn in this world. There are three, and it's kind of similar to the actual normal Minecraft world in that they are just a re reskin. But uh, I think these new skins look really cool. So here we go. This is the first one. It's uh, the ram, and it's pretty much the equivalent to a sheep. Uh, they spawn in all the same colors, and you can skin or skin you can use shears on them to collect their wool uh that's the ram same sound and when you kill them you get the same stuff uh this here is the pig and it's just a little boar in this game uh as i said norm everything's the same with it uh chickens haven't been changed and uh if i can find one they uh there we go these are the new deer well deer they're the bucks and uh they're the same as a cow they drop you know they drop cowhide and uh beef but as you can see, they just got these huge horns on their head. And if we kill one here, see, as you can see, I got raw beef and some leather. So those are the kind of general mobs, and um, I'll be back when I find anything else. And yes, the rams do come colored. All right, and um, I'm back, and this is going to be the first kind of biome that this mod modifies and adds. So here we go. This is the swamp, and as you can see, these uh, big rooted trees here are mangrove trees, which uh, grow in the real world, IRL. But um, as you can see, shallow water, as you would characterize the swamp, but it just grows these huge, pretty cool looking trees, and like you know, like the whole mob or mod, sorry, it's just eerie and dark and dreary. So uh, I'll be back with any more biomes I found. Snowy, snowy glacier. Yes, this is the glacier. And as you can see, it's an absolutely massive body of ice. Uh, sheer wall, you know, just roams across. I don't think it actually moves. But um, there's not, nothing really different about it. This is a failed experiment I had with lava. Um, uh, as you can see, you know, I don't think anyone anything spawns. Um, the creator of the mod, um, he wants to add ice caves to it eventually where you can find treasure. Uh, that's not in the current release of it, but um, yes, this is one of the new, the new biomes. It is a glacier, and I'll be back with any new biomes I find. All right, now as I mentioned at the start, uh, it adds a highlands biome. Uh, this is the closest I could find to any kind of highlands biome. Um, you know, despite because the world's so low to the ground, you know, this is a kind of little shelf I found which is higher. Now the one thing I notice is that sheep. And uh, the retextured sheep spawn a lot more up here, but um, I'm, I don't know if this is actually the highlands biome. There's nothing really different from you know the normal Minecraft world. It just has the normal trees, which which I believe would be you know kind of characterized by higher land. But um, yeah, I think this is the biome, um, and uh, you know nothing really significantly different about it. But I will be back if I find another biome and find another biome I did. This here is the mushroom. Um, you know, I, I read somewhere that the mushroom biome was supposed to have solid mushroom ground, like the fungus ground. Uh, this is as close as I could find because, you know, in the normal game, mushroom biomes are extremely hard to find. And this is really the only biome that has mushrooms spawning naturally. So, uh, as you can see here, it's kind of the same as the default kind of biome for this mod, except that it has mushrooms everywhere. And um, I will, I'll be back if I find anything else. All right, now, as I said at the beginning of this review, um, this land is very low, therefore there are few resources. Now, to kind of balance this out, the creator has decided to add these, these little abominous hills right here. And they are hollow, filled with not only the, uh, the sustenance and the resources you're going to need, but all the enemies that want to kill you. So, we'll just quickly hop right into here, and you will see... It's this cavern completely full of resources. Um, there's spawners for all new creatures, including this little goblin guy here. And uh, 
here. I have damage off, which is why I'm not getting any, uh, you know, kind of damage, I guess. But there's these little goblin bastards here, little mischievous goblins, and drops iron boots apparently. But um, as I said, this is where you're going to be finding all your resources in this enormity of a cave. Uh, there are naturally spawning glowstone here, but um. And apparently there's little poisonous spiders too. Okay. Um, yes, this cave is completely loaded full of resources. So, you know, if you're really going to take the risk and come here, you know, I guess uh, I guess you can get rewarded. And apparently there's a chest full of useless shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, um, yes, this is where you're going to be getting resources. As I said previously, uh, huge, huge column of stuff here. But, um, yes, I'll be back if I find anything else. Alright, now I'm going to be covering the ancient ruins. Now, this is a pretty, uh, general category. Um, throughout the world of this, that this is adding, there's going to be all kinds of little ruins and things that contain treasure, sometimes, for you. Um, some of them are completely random, as this little well in the middle of nowhere is. And, uh, I already tried jumping down to the bottom. There's really nothing, but I'll quickly uh, zoom down if I can. And as you can see, absolutely nothing. It is pretty damn deep, though. And uh, just over here, here's another little ruin. As they're, they actually are pretty common. This one, nothing really in it, though. It's just kind of the ruins of a cobblestone house. And um, I'll be back with any other cool little schematics of ruins I find. All right, so um, I found another ruin. This one, absolutely amazing. Um, sick and tired of finding all these little tiny wells with no point at all. Until I stumbled into this. This is a castle. Now, quickly hop in here. If I can find an entrance, uh, I might have to just punch a wall, hole in the wall. It's just a humongous castle, and I'm imagining there's going to be mobs in here, so turn the instant mine off. So it looks like we got a mushroom room in here with tables. This must be the kind of general area. I'm not going to the cobweb room. Um, no, this is. A tree going room. I should probably give myself some health, actually. Because I think I have damage off. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's an absolutely huge castle. And now it will take a while to explore. So, I, you know, I'm just going to kind of do a little generalized look at it. Uh, what's this up here? Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's vines growing down from these. So, eventually, if you let this sit for a while, these will actually reach the floor. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, staircase here. Nothing really special in this room. Um, here, I'm gonna try to go. I'm gonna quickly hop out of here and try to get in from a different view. Oh. Oh. Oh, silverfish. Okay, apparently this is made of silverfish. It's kind of precarious. Uh, here we go. This is the top, I guess. Um,. And oh, nothing really up here. But uh, yes, they have had castles of the game. Huge ruins of castles. But that's for you to explore. So I'll see you guys if I find anything else. Alright, so I found the first one. I'm not sure if this is actually a mini boss or what it is. Um, it's What it's called is a druid. And it spawns in these little houses that all, all around the place. And he is pretty powerful. So I'll quickly hop up here and try to fight him. This is his home right here, and there he is right there. As you can see, he's like a skeleton, and he's launching these balls of something at you. I turned my damage on, so he will be able to damage me, but uh, I'll let him hit me first. Oh, and as you can see, I'm poisoned from it. And uh, it appears that there's another one. That one's on fire, though. But as you can see, he poisons you and does quite a bit of damage. So you're going to have to fight him. And we'll hop over here and kill his brother. And his other brother. And there we go. This is his little house. And, uh, yes, those are the druids. I'll be back if I find anything else. Hello, I'm back. And this is a maze, as you can see. I'll quickly store up. Um, this, I guess you could classify it as a mini boss, though. It's not very boss like. But, um, it's a maze. It has treasure in it. And, um, I'm gonna quickly try to do a speed run through it, so wish me luck, and here we go.
Oh my god. Everything's hanging out here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, she's gonna dance with me. Um, hmm. It's not like a piece of Oh, oh, oh! What the? Ah! Look at the angle. 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 Look at the I guess it has the same stuff as a normal dungeon would in the chests, but there is a whole new bunch of scary, scary mobs. So um, that's the one mini boss, uh, the maze, and I'll be back with the Naga. I'm about to encounter the final boss in this in this mod. So here goes nothing. This is called the Naga, and I'll quickly give you a look at its arena here. There's pillars all around. And it's just a huge flat arena surrounded by this wall here. So I'll quickly hop through an explosion hole in the wall. Very nicely placed explosion. Into where I am certain to meet my death. This is the Naga right here. And he is very quick and very hard to beat. I, at the moment I have my damage off. And where the hell did you... Oh my god. Yes, I have my damage off so he won't be able to hit actually hit me. And as you can see he destroys everything in his path. So I imagine these pillars are for actually fighting him, um, but being that I have my damage off, he won't do any damage to me. But he is said to be incredibly powerful. So I'll quickly try to catch up to him if I can. And, oh, it's just like, kind of like Legends of Zelda, where you, I guess you kill his last segment. Oh my god, yes. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's go to the safety platform up here. Okay, let's not go to that platform, let's go to this one. Where I'm going to turn my damage off. And be certain to meet my doom. So here goes nothing. Try to kill it with an arrow. It decides to kill my platform. That's good. And. Oh god. I should note I have diamond armor on. So everything you see is about to be amazing. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Yep. Where are you going? Where are you going? See if I can actually run him. Barely. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. Okay. He does do a lot of damage. I can't even imagine without diamond armor on. Oh. This is like so many video games. Oh. Kill him. Oh. Oh god. Oh good. Nope. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There you are. There you go. Okay. Jeez, he is a hard bat. Oh lag. What are you doing? Get back now. Here we go, boys. Oh, this is good. This is good. I like this. Is he even taking damage? Oh my god. I need... Uh, uh, no! Ugh. The Naga bested me. Alright, so my last attempt at killing the Naga didn't go so well, as you probably saw. So I decided to re-strategize, and I made a plan here. So I'll quickly hop right into the fight. Jump into his arena with my buddy the deer and here yeah, if I can get his attention oh lag pillar yes I'm going to kill him with a bow and arrow assuming he doesn't just destroy my tower and he's destroying my tower okay am I, having, am I even killing him? Yet? oh god oh his head's taking damage and the last part oh I see Oh, here we go. This is time. Alright, so I just gotta... Spam my sword. Spam my sword. Alright. Now, oh, there we go. Killed another segment. And not so many left. I can do this. I can do this. Oh... Uh... Alright, okay, I need... 
Take some health back. Get some health. Why am I not getting health back? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, jump around like an idiot. That one, that one always works. Do you not do you not revive health in his arena? Oh Jesus. Oh, he's got very little left. This is perfect. Oh, this might actually work, shit. Uh oh, there I'm getting health back. Go team! And I have destroyed him. I have killed the Naga and what he dropped here, these little little green shitlets. And I'll clear my inventory. And they are Naga scale. Oh, okay. I'll quickly uh I I haven't actually seen what these do yet, so can you make armor with them? No, you can't make armor. Oh, Oh, you can make a diamond. You can make diamond armor with the Naga scales, I guess. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Cool. So, uh, diamond armor with Naga, I guess that makes sense. For killing the hardest damn boss. I, I don't imagine you could do it without diamond armor. I mean, I was taking a massive damage and I died once with diamond armor on. So, um, yes, that's the Naga. And I'll actually quickly kill myself and show you guys what happens when you die in this in this world. So. Very honorless death, and quickly let it respawn. Alright, and as you can see, I died back at the Inaugur Stadium, and I'm here. I'm here at the portal I entered this world in, and you can actually leave too. So, um, yeah, that basically concludes my look at this. This really cool mod, Twilight Forest. Uh, the link to download it will be in the description. You guys can check them out. Support the author. I mean, this is an absolutely awesome mod. Um, as I said, if you've ever wanted to have an Avatar in your game, this is for you. A whole new dimension of the game. But, um, yes, that's basically everything I wanted to cover. I don't think I got to, like, the actual mushroom biome. I wasn't sure if there actually, you know, was a mushroom biome. I'm sure I left a couple things out, too, as far as ancient ruins go. However, you know, those were pretty hard to find. So, um, yeah, this is this concludes my look at the uh, the Twilight Forest mod. If you guys enjoyed, please, you know, leave a thumbs up. You know, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. Help me, help me out with this. And, um, yeah, that's basically everything. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you all next time.